the formidable robot. There was an unknown incident involving Bonzi Buddy and cyberbullying. Not many people know about this incident. It took place in the future, and you may be wondering, how do I know this? I know about the incident because I used to have a time travel machine. I used it to find out what happened in there. Nowadays, the Purple Monkey Chat websites are just blank pages. I tried visiting it once and took a screenshot of it. Speaking of the incident, I found many classified information about this incident. It involves a now destroyed Purple Monkey meme website. I don't know if I should show the contents, but a lot of it scared me and pretty much made me uncomfortable while reading it. It has recorded history of harassment towards an adult. He had dealt with it since the early 2020s, and honestly, I feel very bad for that person. But I didn't know it would end up being haunted by something. I will publicly disclose most of the information I found. Most of it were just paper painted with black printer ink, probably because of a cognito hazard of some kind that would harm the reader. Date and known, 2024. Police reports show that an Irish-American 19-year-old committed suicide from never-ending harassment. The corpse disappeared after investigation. It isn't known if the corpse was taken away or stolen by one of the bullies. November 3, 2024, time unknown. A group of internet users noticed that the site, bonziworld.org, was shut down without warning. When the site was visited, it showed something completely terrifying. A mutilated face of somebody was flashing on the screen and the user's browser was uninstalled. Known harassers of the individual were seen being taken away by an unknown and invisible entity. January 5, 2025, time unknown. In a house that's in an unknown location, a couple had seen a teenage boy crying in the bathroom. The boy had blood stains all over him and wasn't responsive. One of the persons touched the crying boy, but he had disappeared after being touched. Who is this person? Several years later. February 28, 2028, time unknown. Hello, my name's Aaron. I like old tech and like visiting old and dead websites. In this script, I'm gonna try and visit the most requested one that is bonziworld.co. It has been shut down after years of harassment towards the owner. Let's begin. March 16th, 2028, 323 PM. Things haven't changed since 2022 in the BW community. Misinformation continues to be made and spread, and all servers are now offline. While I was reading some newspaper, I saw that Seamus mysteriously went missing for more than a year now. No one knows where he went. But BonziWorld.co mysteriously came back online on the day he went missing. I checked the domain info and all of the information were listed as undefined. I decided to risk it and visited it. It seemed to be an ordinary server made by him, but after I clicked on the login button, the page turned blank. None of my friends seem to be able to visit the site either as it was blank for them as well. I have never seen such a BW server freak out like that. I've decided to keep the tab on for a while. After waiting a couple of hours, no change seemed to be made, but I've heard some unnerving noises coming from the tab. It sounded like someone was screaming in terror. As I left my computer on for a bit longer, more of these terrifying noises were playing frequently. I tried to close the tab, but it wouldn't let me. Not even closing my browser did anything. I've noticed some moss growing on the browser UI. It was like it started decaying like a dead body. After three hours, I heard something collapse from my speakers and it seems like all of the browser UI is gone. All there is left is the remains of the UI and the blank page. I can't even open Task Manager anymore. April 2nd, 2028, 1.05 AM. I think my computer is that. I can't turn it off. Not even unplugging does anything. It returns to the previous state as if it was hibernating. April 15, 2028, 6.59 AM. After so many attempts of turning my PC off, I saw something that is incomprehensible. An image of Seamus IRL hanging himself. I never expected him to do that. It stayed like this for two days. Nothing came up. I waited a month. Nothing happened. October 29, 2028, 12 AM. 
I saw something new come up. It looked like it was written by a clinically insane woman in her 60s. Now everyone can be happy. There is also a blood stain on the page. I don't even know what happened, but I'll assume that Seamus's mother committed suicide with a self-inflicted gunshot. Date unknown. Eventually I was scared the living hell out of myself by something horrifying. It was a close-up image of his face after the suicide. My keyboard, monitor and mouse started leaking some kind of red liquid. I tried to turn it off, but it continues to leak. I can't even move it anymore. It is super glued to the desk. My room is starting to be flooded by this unknown liquid. I can't even get out of my room. The door was locked by someone in the house. It is November 20th, 2028 at 6.39 AM. The liquid is almost as high as the electricity outlets. I don't think I can survive much longer. Money, if you see this, please forgive me for my sins. February 28th, 2029, 4.28 PM. New message from Jacob. Never did somebody's grave. And please do not visit any Bonzi world related server. They are a death wish. This absolutely terrifies me. I now know I shouldn't visit any websites mentioning Bonzi world. What happened to that Aaron person was brutal. The best thing to do is just never visit these websites. It has been haunted by Seamus's soul and countless victims who have contributed to the bullying have been severely punished in anomalous ways. However, it isn't the same if you're a fan of his, instead, you'll be blessed with endless luck. I have no clue if that's true though, because I heard it from someone who I know that had visited it before. You shouldn't visit those websites anyway.